What are you doing? I used to do it all the time. <laughs> it's a branding rig. It's a branding rig today? Watch out, kitties. Hey, good morning. That's your girl, Andrea. Uh, we have a lot of cattle coming in. So remember when I mentioned it? Here it is. Uh, we told them we were going to buy yesterday, and they showed up. Like, 20 hours later. So, got some Wisconsin cattle coming in. Not a huge amount, just like 68 head. So, there they are. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Hey, babies. They know what feed is. Good deal. Some of your uh, fellow friends last year. That's fun. Can you tell dad just went and fed calves down there? The cows are all like, what the heck are you doing? You guys are next. It's the next day after those calves came in. Can you tell I'm going to go feed boobs here? Uh, we are going to work those calves. So another uh, processing video, but this is probably, should be, <coughs> the last time we process anything for a while until we get closer to calving season when we put everyone back in the barn make their scour box shot and then the calves go through for another implant before they get their last implant in the process so oops is gonna drink his bottle and finish up chores and then we'll get to work hi kiddos work all of you today since we don't know their history <laughs> what's up kids lots of scimitol crosses in here lots of them do you want a mint oh there's a what was that You want it? Yeah, your butt. Get your little booties out of the way here, girls. Bip, bip. Tex, come here. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. Good boy. Good job. First calf ever. Uh, 35 cows that are in the barn in the pens two and three and then our calves are in pen one so we'll work right in this yard mom had to go grab some meds quick um, and then we'll be setting right a rock
Um, so I am going to go get some good breakfast because I have time. <laughs> I think I've decided that I'm going to call these my gangster pants because they sag a little bit and they have a rip, ripped out crotch and a bunch of rip on the bottom. So gangster pants. I did get new ones just so you all know. But it'll be nice to have a second pair. Or third. I have like three pairs now. Uh, for Kevin's using chaos because It's really fun when you wash them and freeze dry them, and then you're like, oh no, I don't know, they bitch. Anyways, gangster pants. Vision 7, hence the V7. This is the Vista ones with the X implant, pour on, sidectin, ran a rock. Mom's gonna run the shoot, or the back end fill for me per usual. He's tagging a calf. Oh my gosh. What's happening? You don't ever do this. What are you doing? I used to do it all the time. <laughs> and I found slave labor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice group. They average 603 pounds and it's a mix of steers and heifers. All right, all right, all right. Got them done. Um, so let's talk about what we gave them and why. Um, so the first one is Vista Ones SQ. The vaccinations are actually the same ones that we give our like home raised calves, I like to call them. So Vision 7 Whisper, this is your Clostridial, Black Leg, all of that stuff. Um, and then anybody that was banded today. I mean, then they had their man parts, still testicles, and we needed to take them away. Um, we banded, so they'll just like slowly shrivel up and fall off. They also got tetanus because tetanus can be a problem. And then the Vista Ones SQ is the shipping femur with that pastorella in there and the manhemia hemolytica, as well as all of your respiratory stuff that comes in for BRD. Um, all of the respiratory uh, problems that you deal with um, BBD and stuff in the feedlot. So, we buy higher risk cattle out of Wisconsin. So they're like in the woods. A lot of them are like very small herds. You know, people have 10, 15, 20 cows here and there and then they sell them and they get broken into groups. So they are, you know, like a group of two or three that come to the sale barn and our buyer gets them because they are much cheaper like <laughs> than they are around here. So even with trucking, um, if you have a herd of 20 and they get cut into different groups based on size and color and gender, then they're not worth as much. So we're still saving ourselves a couple hundred bucks a head coming from Wisconsin with higher risk. So we have to keep an eye on them, watch them. And with the help of our, veg our veterinarian, we have a treatment plan in place. So that's where these vaccinations come from. And that's also why they get Zuprevo. So Zuprevo is a longer acting antimicrobial drug that stays in their system to help with any of that respiratory stuff that comes with the stress of being run through a sale barn. And then you know, it's like when kids go to school for the first time and like the kindergartners get together, they all get sick, right? Everyone's germs are coming together. So that's what's happening. Cause a lot of those, I mean, there's six of them that are like this, some Creek red Angus cattle. And then there's four heifers that have the same tag. And then there's a little group of reds that don't have tags. And there's just these hodgepodge put together. So we don't know their history. We don't know what they've had for vaccination. So this is the plan we have in place with our veterinarian to keep them healthy. What else do they get? <laughs> a tag if they don't have one so we can monitor them. 
they get an implant, they get rail grow to get them going. So they're right on sync with our calves, just a couple weeks behind. So we'll just meet in the middle when we reprocess everybody and put them all together. Um, band anybody that's still a bull, um, bulls and heifers in there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the gist. And I got a dewormer again. Uniform, Sears heifers, red, black. No Charlays came this time, no Herefords. We told them that. And usually there's maybe one that gets shoved on a trailer, but didn't happen. So <laughs> thumbs up there. We like to feed blacks and reds, um, get some low Simmental crosses. There's a lot of Simmental cattle that come out of Wisconsin. So they fit in very well with our calves, which is nice. So we're nice noodles. <laughs> the noodles, the needles. <laughs> Well, you might not find another channel that's as weird as I am. Um, maybe you will. But um, I will say, like, my goal of sharing online with you is, one, I want to give just this big glimpse into what we do and add the context. So when I'm explaining why we're doing things, I'm doing that to help with the proper education, both on whether you are from a rancher yourself and you just kind of want to know how somebody else does something, or if you're a consumer and... You have no idea what goes into raising beef cattle or raising crops and all of the growing crops and that stuff. So that's why I try to add as much context as I possibly can. Um, also like that helps the activists from taking content and running with it and causing problems. And they can be a little crazy, it's my world. So um, I actually will do a little throwback here. Um, I started sharing back in like 2017 on Instagram. That's actually where I got my start and that's where <laughs> activists are probably the worst. Um, but I started sharing like fitness and then I noticed the disconnect and questions of like, why do you take cattle? And why are they getting vaccinations? Why is the mama so angry? Just conversations like that. Um, and that's when I really kind of decided to work to bridge the gap and share an insider look into what we do every single day and give you the context. So if it's not your jazz and you don't want to know the details and the why and the how and the what, um, that's okay. But I'm here to share all of that. Obviously, like I think agriculture is absolutely amazing. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And I'm here to show you what a little glimpse of it looks like on our operation. That's a little bit more of the behind the scenes, I guess. I don't know. And then I started the YouTube and now I think I just want to YouTube. So thank you for watching my videos always. I love when you guys comment. I love when you share things with me. It's just, it makes my heart really happy. So really excited to uh, finish out the year and then head into 2024 and have a much more solidified, consistent plan. So thanks for hanging with me this whole time. I think things are getting better. <laughs> I watch my else's videos and I'm like, Ugh. and the cons consistency is there because you guys get three a week on, for the most part. So that's, it's a lot on my end, but it's worth it. So you guys are the best. Thanks for watching and hanging out and asking me questions and engaging and it just fills my cup. So, okay, I'm done being sappy now. We're gonna get this finally welded and done today. So now we're pushing all these posts in and the calves are like, what the heck are you doing? Do you need this? Please. There she goes. The welder generators over there. One cool thing is we have this calf, this calf. Their tags say like Tagats Creek Cattle Company. Um, and I looked them up, they registered Red Angus. And we got some of their calves last year on one of our loads, and it's not even like a. It's just coincidental, it's not planned. So kind of fun. When I looked them up, they raised registered Red Angus bulls, so they're just the bulls that didn't make the cut. But they're pretty dang uniform, too. So. so I was just telling um, Nathan that I kind of want to call this uh, YouTube just like taking away testicles or knocking nuts out, and he was like, call it adios huevos. Because <laughs> at this point, we're castrating a horse and some calves today, so that's fun. I touched a lot of pears and nuts today. Anyways, but I went and got a workout in, hence that now, because um, I was sitting there and I was like, I'm not going to like sit here and help hold gates when it's a like two person job. So I made the guys do it and I went and got a good workout in. So there's that, but they are holding that fence. There's only like five panels left. So I'm in good progress there. What are you doing? <laughs> she's excited. Her favorite person is our vet. So she's excited. Yeah. Ranching in the golf cart over here. Apparently he doesn't want to carry his forge. It's a branding rig today. Watch out, kitties. Oh, God, don't run them over. That would be eventful. 
No goats painted. Losing his nuts, boy. Rooster. And then the filly, his full sister, is in the back. She doesn't have a name yet. I suck. I know. Adios huevos. I just told him about these ideas. Taking your nuts away. He was being a jerk yesterday. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I told you. It's her favorite person in the whole world right there. She's obsessed. CP CP. What are you doing? Oh. Hopefully this <laughs> not bad. Scrubbing nuts. Look at those baby balls. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Grab the big clear syringe right by the stuff. Nope, nope, left. Right there. Was he dirty or was he clean? Eh. He's just dusty. He's kind of dirty actually. Oh. Not like junky dirty, but. It's lidocaine. Yeah, it's lidocaine. It's for the pain meds. You would like lidocaine if you were taking your nuts away. Not my nut. Yeah, you would. <laughs> One poke is better than feeling anything else. <laughs> I'm breaking down tissue so I can actually get to a cord, and then I clamp three times because I am extra cautious. So they don't bleed out? Yep. Like it to not bleed. And then these emasculators work by clamping and cutting at the same time. But the important part is the nut goes to the nut, not the other way around. <laughs> so it goes nut to nut. So you get the clamp. And then you cut and it clamps. Can you give me a minute? 60 seconds of clamping. So now you're tying. I'm done tied. I'm You're done tying. tying. You're just. I'm just Making sure it's not bleeding. Check her out, check her out. You gonna brand your horse? Well, bam. Smells like burnt hair. Got that good buckskin color. <laughs> That's a good brand. So why did you hot brand versus freeze brand? It'll show up as a roan scar. He cut himself as a baby and it comes back their base color. If you shaved him real close and then uh, freeze branded him, if you shave that box it might come back as a roan scar and look goofy. So. And also it'd be white versus dark hair. This will look cool. It's more cowboy. <laughs> So Drugs are bad, kids. So Drugs are bad. The head oh. There you go. <laughs> he probably wanted to get closer to us because he likes to snuggle. <laughs> oh, look. We're up. <laughs> he actually got up really well. <laughs> <laughs> Is it actually crooked? A little bit. It's really not crooked. He's really unsure about what's going on here. Well, we removed testicles <laughs> from three <laughs> animals today, four little critters. One horse, two steers. Well, bulls, now steers. Will be steers shortly. So, our uh, stud colt is now a little gilding, and the bulls are steers, so that's exciting. I'm gonna go check on Nathan. He is finishing up the fence here. Um, the wind picked up, which is kind of covered right now, and the sun is setting, so now it's getting chilly outside. It's not even 5 o'clock, so it's just sad, depressing weather up here that we get. <laughs> Winter is coming, whether we want it to or not. My mom, this will be the next video probably, um, has been on an adventure today since we finished working calves. She took off, drove a couple hours away, probably like three and a half, I think, um, to go pick up a new billy, a fainting goat billy for the herd. So. I will introduce you to that fellow in the next video. I will say, the sunsets this time of year are absolutely gorgeous. 
Look at that fence. Looks so good. You guys are getting kicked outside in the morning. And then we need to clean everything, so. Clean the bed pack, kick you guys out. You're old enough. Should be good. See, now I just dropped my phone in manure. Camera face down. So that was nice. It's a little nasty right now. I need to go clean it when I get inside. But I'm gonna wrap up tours, but thanks for hanging with me today. Thanks for watching. As always, leave me any questions you have in the comments. Find me on other platforms as that fit advocate. I'm always hanging out somewhere, but until next time, we'll see you then. Look at that. Just back to the normal self, maybe just a little drowsy yet.